all of this fits into this. This right here is my personal carry-on that I take on long haul flights. And yes, it's large. I do carry a lot of things with me, but let's go through all of it to show you what I have in this bag. If you need some theory of simple thanks for coming to my channel today if you're new here my videos are all about home car plane or train i'll have you prepared for just about anything and today my video is going to have you prepared to take a long haul flight this is part three of my long haul series the first two videos covered a lot of things that are in this bag in detail i will not be going over that again today but I will put links right up here for those of you who want to rewatch it or have not watched that. That way it'll make more sense when I show you what's in here. So take a look at those videos first, but this is the current bag that I carry on a long haul flight. Some of you may have seen my other video where I have a nice little under seater roller that fits underneath the seat in front of me that I take on several trips and on many trips. However, when I'm taking a long haul flight, I do not take that roller bag. And the reason for that is in many airlines, if even if you're traveling economy, they have a little footrest that comes out and that little roller bag sticks out just enough that it prevents the footrest from coming out or if the footrest is in front, in the seat in front of you, that roller bag just gets in the way and it doesn't allow me to utilize the footrest. So that's one reason. Also, if you're gonna be flying business class, the little cubby that they give you to put in your personal item is pretty small, generally will not fit my roller bag. Whereas again, if I take this and take some things out, I can shove this into that little hole and it'll fit nicely. Again, because it's soft and malleable, it'll allow me to just ship the position and get it in there nicely. So that's why I carry this bag. This bag also has a trolley sleeve, which is going to allow me to slip it over the handle of my carry-on luggage. That way I'm not having to hold it on my shoulder the whole time. The only time I'm really taking it off is when I'm on the plane trying to get situated and putting my luggage in the overhead bin. So this is also why I carry it. And the final reason why I bring this bag is because when I get to my destination and I've unpacked, this becomes my day bag, the day bag that I take shopping. I take to the beach, I take to the pool. It's a great bag. It's water resistant from inside and outside. So a great bag to have. And in the end, I'll show you how it kind of collapses down a little bit to make it a little bit more smaller. So when you're out shopping, you don't feel like you're carrying a suitcase around with you. All right, the number one thing that I bring with me in this bag is another bag, yes. Why do I bring this little bag? Because if for some reason the overhead bins are full and they're telling me I've got to check that little roller uh, checked luggage that I have, I can take a few things out that I need. I can put them in this soft bag and say, look, you're gonna be able to find a place for this little bag up in here. And then they can take that off and check it for me. But it's just for an emergency like that. Or if I've gone on a trip and I've happened to bought a few souvenirs or something, this will allow me to pack a lot of clothes in here throw this into cargo and then put my souvenirs into my checked luggage. So this provides a couple of different things. Also, again, I can use this for shopping or again, just going out to the beach or something like that. But just having an extra bag, just in case you're on an airline where you're overhead luggage won't fit in. And for those of you going to Asia, you'll notice a lot of the Asian airlines, the seats are a little smaller, the overhead bins might be a little smaller. The smaller in-country carriers don't always have the overhead bin space or the under seat space for you. So you might have to pull this out to pull things out and maybe check a bag, but then just have some things with you that you can get onto the plane with you. The number three thing I have is another bag. I know, I'm the bag lady, right? I have to have another bag. So this is my bag that's just a little waterproof bag. Again, going to the beach, going shopping, it's raining out, I just wanna keep things dry. This is what I take with me. It's a, just a little tiny waterproof bag and I also can use it to put my laundry and things like that in, in my room. So just another little bag to carry along with me. 
In this little pocket here, I have my passport right here handy so it's easy to get to. I don't have to dig for it. I keep it in a nice little RFID sleeve so that way it's not going to have any identity or anything stolen from it. And I just keep that right in the pocket here. And that's pretty much all I keep in that pocket. I do carry my wallet on my person in my pocket so that's always on me. My phone is also always on my person. So I always have those things close at hand. One other thing I'm gonna show you is I always carry one of these little hero clips. And these are good if you just wanna secure a bag maybe onto your luggage, but you go into a bathroom and there's not a hook and you can hook this over the door by simply opening this up and then putting this on your bag. And then this will just hook up over the door very easily and allow you to be able to keep your bag off that filthy bathroom floor. So that's another great reason to have this hero clip. And like I said, I can also use it to just kind of secure this bag to my luggage. The other thing you'll notice when I show you is the outside here. I always keep my water bottle out so I can drink it all the time. Um, this one is what I will use to put hot water in. So I have hot water on my flight. This is a little bit bigger than the one I normally carry domestically because I want to have a little bit more hot water with me. But this is something that I will use also on the trip. So that comes with me as well. All right, let's get into this bag. All right, just randomly taking things out of here. This first thing I'm gonna take out is my snack bag. And you'll notice I in this, I don't have a big meal kit in this bag. And that's because generally on a long haul flight, if you're going internationally, they usually feed you two to three meals. So I usually eat those, but I do pack some snacks with me um, to take on my flight. And I'm not gonna go through every single thing in here because I have other videos showing some of the things that I pack in this, but this is something I always pack because that way if I'm in a layover situation where I'm a long time in a layover, I don't wanna spend a lot of money necessarily eating out or I get somewhere and the restaurants are closed. I have some healthy snacks in here that will get me through. Also just to keep a few things in my hotel room or my Airbnb that I can snack on. The next thing I have is this, which goes with this. This has a lid for hot water, but if I wanna use it for cold water, it has a nice little top on it that I can put on here for sipping, so I bring that with me as well. All right, speaking of drinking, I also bring one other water bottle with me. I bring this collapsible water bottle with me because it does collapse down. I had it out like this to show you, but it'll collapse completely down, almost flat like this. And the reason why I bring this particular water bottle is because I can use it with my bee free filter. This filter will filter out 99% of bacteria and parasites and will keep your water pretty clean almost anywhere in the world that you drink. So I like that. Why am I not bringing this one with me? Because this one stands up on its own and this one doesn't. But since this will take the filter, this is the one I will bring. This is really great when you're out and about traveling because if you can't get to safe bottled water, you can always get to tap water or even any kind of water and drink it through this filter. So whenever I'm traveling internationally, I always bring a filter and a nice collapsible bottle. So when I'm out and about, I have something to get fresh water at any time. Or even if I'm in my hotel room and I can't get bottled water, which happened to me in Greece when I was really sick and I couldn't get out to go buy water, I was able to filter water right out of the tap and then have clean water to drink to make sure I wasn't gonna be sicker than I already was. Next thing I have is my iPad because I watch movies on it as well as do work on it. So I always bring an iPad. This is uh, my solid state drive that I bring with me so that I always have that. This is also now my cashmere throw that I will use as a blanket over me if I get a little bit cold. Plus on my trip, it makes a nice shawl to wrap around me, so I always bring that as well. This is my ultra small toiletries bag. And for those of you who have seen the video, you know what's in here. For those of you who have not seen that video, I'll put a link up here so that you can see what's in my ultra small toiletries bag, which includes everything, including shampoo and everything and makeup and brushes to be able to do everything I need. This will get me through a week. Why do I bring this? Well, again, I bring two toiletry bags with me. This small one that gets me through a week and a larger one that has an extension if I'm staying longer. If I'm not staying longer, this will get me through a week. But this way, if they lose my luggage, 
I have a way to get cleaned up. Plus, I'm gonna use this on the plane to get myself cleaned up before I land so I look presentable. I also have my immersion water heater in my little Stasher's silicone bag. I always carry a little water heater. Again, if I get to some place where the water's questionable, like in a hotel room, I can boil it with this and know that I can drink it. And then the Stasher's bag is great, A, to hold it so if it's a little bit hot, it's not gonna melt this bag. And B, if I need something like a cold pack or a hot pack, this little pack will do it for me. I could put ice in it, I can put hot water in it and use it as something to soothe my back or ice to help if I have a headache or something. So this comes with me as well. I also bring a fan with me. A little fan like this is great because sometimes you just want some air directly on you. The overhead fan sometimes just hit me in the top of the head and you know it just doesn't create enough breeze for me. Plus when I get to my destination, whether I'm at a beach, at a pool, walking around, standing in line at some sort of tourist attraction, this little fan is gonna help cool me off and it's really great because it is USB rechargeable and I can also set it up just like this. I can hold it and that way if the power goes out like it does in India sometimes, I always have at least a little fan to have a breeze on me and keep me cooler. This is my little mini kitchen in a bag. And again, it's held in a stash or silicone bag. It has a collapsible water cup and my little um, folding fork and spoon, as well as some toothpicks and a napkin, and a little tiny thing of salt that I just kind of always bring with me if I want to add a little bit of what they call real salt and my straw in here. And again, depending on where I'm going, depending on where I'm staying, depending on how long, this may change out to something different, but this is pretty much my minimum carry kitchen in a bag that I take for most every trip. The next thing I take is my comfort series. So this was also covered in one of the other um, videos that I had, and this is all about sleep and comfort. I'm not gonna go through this bag today, but again, there are links up here or in the video, video description that'll tell you everything that's in this bag. I also carry this little waste pack. Now, I sometimes wear this on me and just swing it around the back so that nobody really sees it. And then that way I can just get it on the plane. I have another video on this of everything that's in here. I also hook this over the tray table like this so that I can use it as a foot sling to put my feet on to get a little comfortable if they don't have a foot rest. I won't go over everything in here today because I have another video on that already. So I'll link that here and below in the show notes. So that is, this goes with me on every flight. So all the things that are in here are something I take with me all the time when I fly. The next thing I have is a waterproof bag like this that carry my slippers. And my slippers change uh, depending on the time of the year, where I'm going, that type of thing. But I like to bring these a lot because I can slip my feet easily in and out of them. They can be washed down, worn in the shower, at a pool. Uh, but I like to wear them on the plane because that way I can slip my feet easily into them, get to the bathroom. That way the yucky floor in the bathroom is not all over my socks. And then at the end of the trip, of the flight rather, just wipe them down with an antibacterial wipe and put them back in the bag. Meanwhile, while I'm wearing these, I put my shoes in this bag because it helps keep the smell of anything in my shoes, like, you know, smelly shoes contained. This is a waterproof bag, so it's gonna contain a lot of the smell. So these two are essential for me to be comfortable on my flight. The next thing I have is my little comfort pack, which is something that I use for if I'm feeling sick or not well, whether it's a headache, you know, the flu or a cold or even diarrhea, everything in here is in this pack. And again, you will find all the details of these things in other videos of everything I pack in these little packs. I also have my little power pack in here, which is everything I need to charge my computer, my, uh, tablet, my phone, my iWatch, my batteries, everything that I need to charge is right in here. So this will get me through pretty much any trip, including my little inverters. Again, if you want to see what's in here, it's in a previous video. I carry my jewelry on me because I don't want to put that in my uh, overhead carry-on luggage in case they decide to check that. I always carry my jewelry on me. 
I also always carry an Apple AirTag in all of my luggage, so that way if I've forgotten it or someone's op opted to walk off with it, it'll alert me and say, hey, this is no longer near you and allow me to track where it is and get to it quickly. Um, so this is something I put in all of my luggage. I also carry this purse. Yes, it's another purse, but it's not actually a purse in this sense. It's actually a packing cube because inside of this I have um, a little skirt slash dress and I also carry an extra set of bra, underwear, and socks in this little pocket here. So this will allow me to keep everything that I need to. If they lose my luggage for three or four days, I have this to mix and match with whatever I've worn on the plane and that way I have something to wear until they get my luggage back to me. And the last thing I have is a dry bag. Yes, I bring a dry bag because it carries my bathing suit and bathing suit wrap right here. And it also carries this little uh, portable hanger. And it also has chip clips and cup holders on it. That's what's on here. I mean, they do make these hangers, I think, with little clips on them. But I carry these little chip clips and cup holders that I can hang dry pants and shirts and underwears and bras. And also if I'm not using these, these little clips are great for keeping those little curtains closed when they just don't quite stay closed and you want it dark in your room. But I always have one hanger with me on my trip. And then the dry bag of course is if your bathing suit is wet and you need to be able to get on your plane and get everything in the bag that's wet. It'll keep everything dry, but also I use this then to wash out my socks and underwear and shirts and things like that. I'll put some water and a little bit of laundry soap that's in my other toiletry bag, put that in here, get everything washed up, hang it on my little hanger, and that way I have things that are clean just in case they lose my luggage for more than just a day or two. This comes in really handy. All right, that is everything that fit into this bag here. And I wanted to show you really quick how this bag, it looks pretty large here. You may not want to take it shopping, but it does actually collapse down a little bit so that it looks a little bit smaller when you're out and about during the day. It has a couple of little snaps right here that allow you to snap down the corners. And then these little zipper areas allow you to go ahead and zip that part up so that that way it looks just a little bit nicer if you wanted to take it now on a little day trip and do some shopping. This bag now becomes something that's very doable for a day trip, but as you can see, it spans large enough to carry everything that you've seen here for my personal carry-on for a long haul flight. So you'll see that in this bag, it's a mixture of things that keep me comfortable on a long haul flight, as well as some things that would get me through a few days if they lose my luggage. I just have had that happen to me a few times, twice for four days where I had no luggage for four days. And I have learned a lesson is just to keep a couple things on you so that you can get through, not have to stand in the shower every day with your clothes on. So anyway, if you have some ideas of what you like to bring, some cool gadgets, some ways of packing, share those with us because all of us in this community would like to know how to pack smarter, faster, lighter, better for any of these trips, whether long or short, share those in the comments below. So that's it. That's everything that's in my personal carry-on item bag for a long haul flight. Things change occasionally depending on where I'm going, how long I'm staying, where I'm gonna be staying, what I'm gonna be doing, are there extra trips I'm taking, but this is just kind of a general idea of some of the things I bring on my long haul personal item carry-on and you can take from this what you want or get rid of stuff whatever you want but just use it as a just an idea more of entertainment I guess than anything but this is what I carry um, for those of you who wanted an update on David he is doing so much better he walked three quarters of a mile last night without stopping so the surgery went well he's recuperating well for those of you who have been sending your thoughts and prayers Thank you so much. We really do read those every night. And I really do believe that they are helping us heal because the doctors are like, it's remarkable. He's doing so remarkable. So thank you for all of your thoughts and prayers on that. And um, as usual, I'll be posting some updates of some personal things about that on my Patreon channel. So for those of you who are Patreon subscribers, thank you so much. It's so truly appreciated. And for those of you who want to follow me on Patreon, I'll put a link down here so that you can 
follow me there or go at least see what it's about and also down in the show notes as well. Everything here will be linked in the video description as well. Um, some of these things I won't link exactly because they're linked in other videos, but those videos will be linked below so you can take a look at some of the other things here that I didn't actually open up because I've already done those in another video. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and remember, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. No way, did that not record? That wasn't recording? Again? Oh my God. Ugh.